Watch, boom. Boom. That's one of my favorite techniques ever, one of the best wrestling throw there is. And it's the leg trap, the foot trap single leg takedown. Let's do it. So the foot trap single leg. Boom. Ah, it's a fabulous throw. And it's one of the basic single leg attacks. And look, so we just enter, knee drop, boom, control. And now, uh, aptly named foot trap single leg, I'm hooking around the leg. Pushing my hip into him, wham, and down we go, and then I'll start passing. Whoop. It's very simple, very secure, and a very good enhancement of a normal single or double leg. Because normally when I attack, right, now one of the major problems that occurs is that, that his leg is going backwards, like take your leg, like boom, okay. And the leg trap elegantly stops him from doing that. So I just come in, push, and I got it. And now I need to push my hip, right? So there's a very good expression in German, like, fick dich ins Knie. And, uh, well, it's exactly that, right? So I'm, I'm hooking the foot, I'm holding his leg, his near li side leg, right below his buttock. I put my ear on his belly, as if I wanted to listen if there's a baby inside, there's not, and push the hip against his knee. That straightens his leg and ultimately makes him fall. Now, very importantly, as soon as he falls, I want to step back to the side to avoid getting caught in his guard. And up that. I like to say that every leg takedown, double leg, single leg, or any other throw, but especially the double legs, have two elements. One is making your opponent fall, making Uke fall, and two is passing the guard. So any leg takedown is just a combination of making him fall and passing the guard at the same time. So instead of going straight forward, we make him fall and rotate to the side. And like a torero, huh? We avoid the toro. So we fall forward and move his legs a bit to the side and step back. Watch again. Boom, boom. Fall and rotate. My shoulder pushes against his body now. I step back. This leg is still being caught, right? And with my near side arm, with my right arm in this case, I push his knee out. Because now he would want to regain guard, right? He would want to push me off, get his knee in, and I push his leg to the side. And now I'll pass that knee. So I take my far side leg, my bottom side leg, and I tuck it in closer to his hip than what his knee is. And now I pull this side close to make it impossible for him to regain guard. I even like to clasp the legs down and stay here for a moment, right? People want to rush to the top of the side mount, but if I stay here, I make it much more difficult for him to regain guard. And now I'm gonna climb up, right? In, for beginners, it's like, yeah, he's laying on his back and now I'm walking to the top, but that doesn't cut it if he has any understanding of wrestling and is strong. So now the major force is not gravity anymore. The major force is his and mine. So I don't calculate with gravity, I calculate with his strength. I'm holding myself on his hip. Now I'm reaching up onto his shoulder line around his neck and I'm pulling myself up into a better side mount, better control. Watch again. So now let's address the entry, right? Major mistake in all leg attacks is the dive. If I dive, I am gonna meet his knee or the floor when he sprawls. So to go down, use your hip and knees, okay? So that's really important. Now we just want to drop the front knee. We're very close, right? There's no leg attacks outside of this distance. That's the number one mistake that people do and why things don't work. They're desperate, they just shoot. 
So if I'm not close enough, I come closer right at Kate take some hand control. Maybe I'm pulling him in. Boom. And now drop the front knee, drop down, knee down, head in. Upright posture, upright position. Tuck your chin, strengthen your neck, straight posture, head to the knee, wham, get the leg, and down, wham, wham, boom. Okay? Can be done from so many positions. You just come in, control the hands, move them around a bit, whack, boom, and in. All that I need is the leg that I am to attack, ideally in front for a split second. So it can be done directly. I'm here and I'm like pulling and dropping, boof, no chance for him to defend. The attack step, you can drill it for yourself. The attack step is so simple. Hop, hop. Okay, my trainer made us do that for prolonged periods of time. You stand straight like a chicken, as he put emphasis on. Straight back, hands in front. Drop, knee down. Foot to the front. Hook with your heel. Now bring that knee down. Okay? Now he's falling. Now you can either come forward and hook the next attack step, right, for as many times as you wish, or you fall to the floor, pass, and get control. Let's see one more time. Boom. Simple as that. Hop, 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 hop. Boom, down we go. That's the foot trap single leg. Foot trap single leg, one of the best leg attacks there is. Avoids a lot of the problems that occur with sprawl and stepping back and people are generally very stable and strong. Down, hook, make him fall. Tell me if you like it and if you appreciate it and see you next time.